Welcome back to Demon of the Week. So we are working our way through the um, spirits in the Goesha, and we are on week two. So the second spirit of the Goesha is Agares. Um, all right, let's have a look. Uh, dates for Agares, March 31st to April 10th. The direction is north, planet Venus. Tarot card is the three of wands. The element is earth, color is green and also deep blood red. Planet is, car sorry, plant is carnation, incense is sandalwood and myrrh. The zodiac is Aries, five to 20 degrees, and other correspondences, red sandalwood, mandrake, mugwort, and copper. All right, so in the Goetia itself, uh, it states that he maketh them to run that stand still and bringeth back runaways. He teaches all languages or tongues presently. He hath power to destroy dignities, both spiritual and temporal, and causeth earthquakes. And he appears as an old fair man riding a crocodile, carrying a goshawk upon his fist, mild in appearance. Now I don't, I just want to make a note about the appearance here. Um, I don't like to, um, you know, when I'm working with a, with a spirit, um, specific, specifically the demons, um, the Goetia and other grimoires, Solomonic grimoires. I don't like to actually um, go into a working thinking about the appearance that has been stated in the grimoire itself. Um, I, th I feel it does influence people a little too much and they should just allow the spirit to actually appear as it requires or as is required, as it needs to, as it wants to, to that person. However, Something that was told to me by Boone recently is that the traditional imagery um, often actually has symbolism in it which speaks about its powers and its um, specialities, aspe aspects and things like that. So have a look at the imagery, but when you go and work with the spirit, don't expect it to look like that, um, you know whether it's got three heads or whatever. Um, so just bear that in mind when you're actually working with them. All right, um, so let's have a look. Uh, he maketh them to run that stand still and bringeth back runaways. Okay, so Agaris is definitely known for bringing back runaways and this can be people who have run away or fugitives. Um, so if a fugitive is on the run you can use Agaras to bring them back. Um, one thing in that sentence that nobody seems to to speak about is um, to make them run that stand still. Now, to me, this speaks of someone who is being lazy. Um, you may have an employee who is just not pulling their weight, is not doing the work, is sitting around um, just twiddling their thumbs the whole day. Um, so you can get a bit of a firecracker under their arse and get them to start moving. Um, the other thing is he teaches all languages or tongues presently. That's quite well known. He does teach languages. Uh, the other big thing here is he has power to destroy dignities, both spiritual and temporal. So what we're talking about here are people in power. Um, something that Rufus Opus actually uh, noted on destroying dignities uh, can reveal a corrupt priest or pope or tear down politician by revealing their failures. Also works in office politics. So if you are if you have a job and you are um, uh, working in an office where the office politics are particularly bad and there is a manager or a director or something who is um, being a pain in the arse and just throwing his weight around a bit too much more than they should because they have that power and they're using that power to actually hurt people then you can use Agaras to bring them down um, all right uh, the other thing is to cause earthquakes I'm not sure why anybody would want to cause earthquakes but it's there just in case. Um, all right, so Connolly also states beyond that um, that he brings wisdom in friendship and makes your garden grow. So 
if you uh, are a gardener, you might want to consider that. I'm not sure if that actually comes in with the earthquake part because if you consider someone who or some a power that would cause earthquakes would be shifting the ground, shifting the land. Um, so we could probably include that in the earthquake part. All right, so it's not literally creating earthquakes that are destroying cities. Um, it's just moving the ground um, in order to get your garden to grow. Um, and gives also says uh, gives advice on financial matters re with regard to projects. Um, Corwin Hargrove, let's just see, uh, he notes, uh, learn with ease, work with purpose, stimulate decision and action. So those are all parts of uh, working and learning, uh, which we've already spoken about. Um, also ruin reputation and weaken magic, uh, which is quite interesting because if you have an enemy who's working magic against you, you can weaken their magic or make them appear weak to everybody else and also ruin their reputation. So um, if it is somebody who charges uh, for their magic work and they are constantly working against you, you can use Agaras to bring them down in that manner. Um, so it, it comes back, back to um, destroying dignities both spiritual and temporal. Uh, in this case, the dignities would be somebody who is considered to be particularly powerful, a witch or a magician, um, who people go to for help. And um, they are using their power to try and hurt you or try and hurt somebody who they shouldn't be trying to hurt. Oh, and also states, uh, make somebody return. All right, so we've got that one already. Um, something further that VK Jahannam actually states. I'm just trying to find where I wrote it. Um, oh yes, it can also help with previous programming uh, from a Christian ex or, or from the example of Christianity. And this is interesting because uh, you know if, if you have come from a religion or a path which is particularly controlling and you need to actually break away from that in order to free yourself and so you can move forward then you know there's a lot of things we do especially in witchcraft um, there's a lot of things we can do uh, repeating the Lord's Prayer backwards just to break that programming because the the idea behind that is that if you say the Lord's Prayer backwards and you feel guilty doing it, then you still you still have that programming. And so you, you continue to do that until you don't feel guilty. And then you free yourself from that programming. Um, it's not meant to be blasphemous. Some people say it is. I don't think it's meant to be blasphemous. It's just a, a way to actually deprogram yourself from that, from those, those bonds and those chains. Um, so... In the same regard, we could possibly consider, consider this to be a, um, used as shadow work. Um, you know, with shadow work, a lot of shadow work is about freeing yourself from um, things which are holding you back and tying you down. Freeing yourself from those chains. So you could actually work with Agoras specifically for shadow work. Uh, Johannem also... Um, states that uh, Garas is good for bestowing position of power. Uh, you'll find this a lot with the spirits. If it states that they can do one thing, they can also usually do the opposite. So if, you know, Agaris is can be used to destroy dignities. So it's, it's taking somebody of power and removing them from that position, destroying them, bringing them down. Um, so because of that, Agaris can also put somebody in a position of power. So, you know, usually find that the spirits will do, if they, if they, if it states that they can do one thing, they can also do the same thing in reverse. Um, Marvas, for instance, is probably the, the best example, uh, which we'll come to uh, in following weeks, but um, Marvas can heal and uh, give disease, all right, or create disease. Um, 
so he can do one he can heal the disease but he, he can also create the disease so you know two two sides of the, of the same coin uh one other thing that john actually states is that uh angaras can instruct in the art of shape-shifting and also empower the astral double for combat um this is actually very good for shielding and protection work especially in the astral plane and the astral realms um if you are particularly if you work particularly in the astral and you do need protection then a shape-shifting aspect you know astral when i speak about astral i'm talking about dream work and everything else um if you do need to shift uh, into a different appearance or um make yourself appear different in the astral or in dream work in order to protect yourself and agaras can help with that all right, I think that's it. Oh, um, Agaris N is Rian Ganen Ayer Da Agares. Okay. And uh, so that's Agaris. Next week is Vasago. All right, so tune in for that one. Have a good one. Cheers.